I'll start if it's a day out next Saturday. Oh, we're not sure now, Ken. It's the match next Saturday. They might be putting an extra shift on. I oh, don't say that, lads. It's getting worse. I thought you had a minibus full. Half full? If you two back out, I'm going to have to ring the goodies up and see what they've done with that bike. <laughs> 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 well, you know what we'd rather be doing, Ken. Yeah, I know. We'll do our best. Hey, I read about that breaking at the jewellers up at Kingsway. What's going up there? Don't ask, Ken. Saw a point, that. How do you mean? They'll be in the Costa del Sol, them jewels now. We know who did it. He slipped through the net again. Who was it? Magpie Maguire. Who else? And what's happened? Well, we were on to him. We'd struck a deal with his missus when we caught her nicking stuff out the Six Till Late supermarket. She told us when his next job was. What, she shopped her husband because you caught her nicking stuff from the Six Till Late? She's the store manager, Ken. Bloody hell. All the same, it's a bit treacherous, isn't it? She wants him out of the way. He's an embarrassment to her. She'd rather he was banged up. What happened? Well, last week this was. She tipped us off that he was planning a job one night in the early hours, but he'd not said where. We didn't tell the station. They'd have sent in the plain clothes, lads, and they'd have stole all the glory. We wanted this one for ourselves, Ken. He's a big fish, Magpie. And we could see the headline. Magpie does bird. Ha <laughs> ha <Yeah>! Magpie! <laughs> anyway, on the night of the job, we staked the house out. We took a few sarnies and a few tins of beer just to keep us going, you know. Phil bought his portable telly. We didn't want to miss your old trash. No, no, no. Our cover was nearly blown early on, though, Ken. How come? Well, we were sat there in the car, pitch black, waiting to pounce, all in conspicuous light, just blending in. Next thing, instead of tapping on our window, the pizza delivery boy bibs his bloody horn. How stupid is that? He forgot my garlic bread with cheese and bought him thin and crispy when he'd ordered deep pan. <laughs> useless. It's a good job we're not relying on pizza to catch criminals, Ken. They're bloody useless. Anyway, Magpie didn't clock us, so we're OK. About half eleven, the house goes dark. So, of course, the portable. We're on red alert. So, two o'clock comes and goes. Still nothing. Anyway, four o'clock in the morning, his wife comes out, starts banging on the window. Woke up with a start, didn't we, Ken? Not a clue where we were. She's going mad because we missed him. Shouting and screaming at us, she was. Woke up the old neighbourhood, she did. Bloody hell. We'd eaten too much, Ken. And what were the tinnies and that? We're out like a light. <coughs> it was our fault, Ken. I assert myself. It was very unprofessional, that. Very unprofessional. 